What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning on the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Odin. His name is Brickhead. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Zeus. His name is Skadi. The map is painted desert and Skadi took that first win really nicely with his Zeus on Tundra. Managing it to take that first game uh, with, uh, with some really strong Hermes play. Get the gold star happening, put the pressure on, just killed too many villages of Brickheads. And uh, Brickhead, even though his army was immense, could not come back there. But new game, new life. We see some unfortunate death of Zebra. It's a very long walking time here. Every single time your villager walks, that's food you're not gathering. Uh, generally speaking, the best way to gather these zebra here is you kill off one or two. Well, you kill off one with like the first three villagers, and then you kill off the second one with when you get four villagers, and then you try and uh, kill them off before they walk too far away. As opposed to uh, Odin, who should only kill one at a time because you have the ox cart. And I often see this from Norse players where they it's just like really small stuff. Which doesn't matter that much. But if I'm playing Norse, you don't need to do this. This thing where you kill off multiple animals. You lose a very marginal amount of food. I think it's like one food every couple of seconds or something. But the animals, they, they stay alive for like, as you can see, they stay alive for roughly a minute or a minute and a half. So in all of that time, you're, you're losing quite a bit of food. So you want to be trying, you want to basically... Uh, only kill one zebra or one animal at a time as Norse specifically. As Greek, you want to keep the animals nice and close so you, you keep the, uh, the, the efficiency uh, really nice. And we do see that the zebra over here has been abandoned uh, because it's so died so far away, which is super unfortunate for Skadi. Uh, I wonder if we'll see some adaptation here from Brickhead or if we'll go for the same thing. This map's very different to that Tundra map because you get this gold mine here. This gold mine is really important because uh, this town center here, plus a wall up here, a wall up here, and a wall over here, uh, makes it nice and protected. So you can sit behind it with throwing axemen. And and once you get to that heroic edge, I expect to see the early game play out very similarly. Uh, but once you get to the heroic edge, everything changes because this gold mine is super hard to push off for Scardi here. So. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what he does. But the big difference here is this gold mine. We do see that the scout is coming in. He's going to be checking that one out. If I saw a gold mine this exposed here uh, as Zeus, I would be Athena rushing every single day of the week. We see the temples coming up. We've got two villages on each resource. So it's going to be a 4.30 here for Skadi. Relics on the map. We've got boots of kick everything. This one is really a great relic to see as Norse, if this is Hermes play. If it's Greek, if it's Athena play, not that important, you still need it to pick off the Minotaur, but uh, I assume we're gonna see Skadi probably pick that relic up as he's gonna be doing that Pandora's box over here. Little bit of assistance for uh, for Skadi, but I'm not gonna imagine he's gonna bother picking that one up because you, it doesn't matter, the myth unit training time doesn't matter because you can't even support training one center on loop. So getting the negative 25% isn't going to help you at all. Um, we do see the Athenas coming through. So Skadi does know about this gold mine and he is going to be coming for it. You know, the house is coming up in this location. I expect to see Brickhead potentially throw up a sentry tower. He's got four villagers on wood. Um, I would probably wall this up nice and early with some long houses over here. You're going to have to sacrifice some stuff uh, and pile on wood here. You want more than four villagers on wood. And when we see the Athena from... Scardi, I assume we're going to see these villagers move onto uh, onto wood here. We've got a lot of forts, a lot of villagers on here as well. Uh, Valkyrie going to be leaving his base, going to be looking for something to do. Raven's going to be checking out each of these hunt spots. We do see that Scardi's already over here. Uh, Scardi likes to build his barracks and his always oh, going double military academy here. Oh, and we do see it's getting scouted instantly here for uh, for Brickhead. This this isn't going to be pure. Yeah, this isn't going to be pure hoplite. We're going. Double military academy into archery range. Uh, the only issue here is three military buildings. He can't afford this. And we also have the Herso moving in instantly. This is really nice play from Brickhead. This is going to be 
really brutal. And I think he did pick up he did pick up boots of kick everything. So these hurts are gonna move nice and fast. Oh Minotaur getting caught out. This is huge. Forest fire comes down as well. Villagers were already preemptively moved off of that wood line there. I, I'm pretty sure Brickhead knows about this hunting operation over here. So he could potentially move over there and do some damage. We've got the hoplite moving away. But as I was saying, three military buildings this early. Not sure about it. You can't afford to pump from these these four buildings here, I don't think. But we'll see if if Scotty can make that happen. He's gotten housed as well during this uh, during this pressure. And Valkyrie on the bottom of the the, uh, the wood line. We're going to see this one get bolted, I think. Uh, just because he's going to lose some villages if he doesn't. Yeah, there goes the bolt. Valkyrie falls. Uh, and Zeus gets a little bit of a win there. Now the Raiding Cavalry moving on to this location. He knows about it. The uh, units of Skadi are going to be moving out though. Uh, and this location is really, really difficult for Brickhead to defend. He's only got two military buildings. He's not building Hursa either. And we are seeing the Hoplite coming, not the Hoplite, the Hursa jumping straight onto that Minotaur. Need to pull these Hoplite back and he does pull it back, the one that was getting targeted there. And there we go, gonna pick up that Minotaur without it doing any damage. Whoa, without it doing any damage. Yes, manages to pick that guy off there. And there's a really big win. Rain cover on the wrong units. It's a very difficult fight for uh, Brickhead to win him. There is the restoration, gonna force Brickhead back. Gets all of his units back to full HP. And uh, and then we're gonna see him move onto this gold mine here. Gonna try and take down the longhouse instantly. Uh, we've got six villages on the wood here. And these villages gonna start getting some pain in this location. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just take these villages off of the gold mine and move them up here. And maybe take some villages off of this gold mine here. Just so you can start getting some extra gold income while you get pushed off this thing, which should be okay. The Val another Valkyrie out though, but maybe a little bit too early for this Valkyrie. You need to sort of do some damage to these heroes first. Nice micro from Brickhead pulling these Hoplite back, but uh, at this point, it's uh, it's just looking really difficult for Brickhead. He's still doing the raids though. Nah, he's pulling the units back at this point. Needs to move for his base. Could pull these villagers off the gold mine here. He has started to attack this low HP, uh, low HP hoplite there. Nice little pick off here. Uh, if we check out the population, we got 51 to 42. So uh, Brickhead really hurting here. He could pop. He could potentially grab Watchtowers here. I think this Watchtower doesn't really stop the Toxodes from the, from um from picking off this gold mine, but it, it does quite a bit. Uh, in, in terms of helping this location here. Uh, he's going to be pulling off this gold mine. Uh, Brickhead's got 291 gold in the bank. Going to move over onto the chickens. Potentially move up to this gold mine as well. Uh, and he can start pumping out those Valkyrie. How much? Oh, he's got no favor left in the bank. So we can't get those at all. Going to move over to this location. He's got the, uh, the gold mine over here. Uh, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to like, wall this off here. Because these units can just walk through. Oh, the village is going to get caught. They will get caught, but they're, they're only hoplite. Oh, don't move with the ox cart. What are you doing, Brickhead? You're a Norse man. These, this ox cart, 2.9 speed. Villages are 3.8 speed. Army and villagers move as fast as their slowest unit. And you can see these hoplite only at 4.7 speed. And there we go, the villagers do change. Uh, so they can't really chase that fast on the gatherers. And he is gonna be moving these guys onto the, uh, onto the wood here. And the villagers moving up onto this food up on this location. I really like this. Still only on two military buildings here. This is why we're at 49 pop to 68 here. Three military buildings pumping versus only two here. So, and still no Hursa getting out as well. The Hursa are on a bad idea. They're really expensive, but with boots of kick everything, they tank so much damage. Um, if we check out their HP, it's one of the one of the units with the most HP, 130 hit points versus the 65 versus the 105. Uh, obviously, Valkyrie have quite a bit, but they do get picked off nice and quickly by Odysseus and Jason, who are both really, really healthy. And now the army is moving around, has managed to find its way into the resources of Brickhead. And Brickhead hasn't managed to get too much up. He had to build up some houses over here. The uh, Toxodes are onto these throwing axemen as well. And there's just too many units here for Scardi just pushing through so well at this point. He's got a lot of units and the micro from Brickhead is trying to just distract in the back here and just getting as many resources here as he can. I feel like he needs to help with these villages. These villages need to get in here and help out Brickhead because he just can't get that many units out. He's trying to build raiding cavalry and he just can't afford it. He's got not enough resources. He's got 30 gold in the bank. And there's just 85 pop for Scardi and Brickhead at 60 here. The units, all the villagers are gonna start falling incredibly quickly. 
Uh, at this point, you just got to fight. You just got to go for it. And here we go. The fight is incoming. He's trying to pick off some villagers over here, running in and out, trying to do as best as he can. He's got a couple of hoplite on both sides of his army just to protect the Toxodes here. And now the, the uh, throwing action in the back are just going to fall incredibly quickly. Uh, and even the Valkyrie aren't here either. What are they doing? Maybe getting some raids in? No, maybe they got picked off. I must have missed that in my brain. I'm not sure how that happened. But the, uh, the Jason and the Odysseus, just too much for him and Brickhead taps out GG well played by Scotty really nice use of the Athena there with that gold mine I can't believe Brickhead didn't veto this as soon as he saw that gold mine it's just such a difficult matchup uh, uh, to, to play because you need to have 400 wood 200 gold just for watchtowers and even if you get them off up you still lose uh, you can still lose the watchtower and it doesn't help that much either and super unfortunate there for Brickhead uh, losing on this map. Uh, it was actually a really nice spawn of the gold mine. Sometimes you don't get these back gold mine spawns. You can see uh, Scotty gets two forward ones. Sometimes you can get two forward ones. Uh, it just so happens that the home gold mine let him down. And that was that. And oof, two to zero now for Scotty. He's, start, start, he's, he's, he's kind of looking like he's going to be a. Uh, He's got to scooting away with this one. Maybe a quick 3 to O. Oh, hope Brickhead can maybe bring it back in the next game. Uh, we'll move on to that one really shortly. Thanks for hanging out with me. Start their next game real soon.